Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. I have been suffering from creative mojo loss. <laughs> Last week was horrible. I could not pull it together to create anything. So this week, finally, finally, I'm back to creating. So I'm gonna be using this stamp set, which is not one that I really have used a lot. It's in the annual catalog and I wanted something with some small sentiments. It can coordinate with this, these banners. The banners are actually on here, but we have a punch that coordinates with that. And then I'm using these framelits. I'm using a little tiny butterfly. You can see it right here. Um, from these framelits and then I'm also using a framelit set that cuts this out. So I'm going to make two cards for you guys and I'm going to show you this really fun um, thing that I did this weekend. Our team, um, on our team Facebook page we had a color challenge and which is always fun to do. That kind of always pulls me out of my creative mojo loss. And the color challenge was black and white with a splash of color. So this paper right here is the celebration paper. It's called Inside the Lines. And I've seen so many people like color with it, use color pencils with it, use Copics with it. I'm not really into coloring. I think it's beautiful. I love to watch people color. Um, I love to watch Christina Warner color, but I feel like it's too tedious and I get really annoyed. So I don't do this teeny tiny coloring, but this paper is really pretty and I wanted to use it. So I thought, why not just use it without coloring it? So the piece right here, the designer piece is three and three quarters by five. Then the basic black piece is four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to layer that onto this soft blue color. This is soft. I forget the exact name. I'll put it. It's in my It's in my supply list on my website. I know it looks a little washed out. It all looks white, but it's super pretty. You could do this with any color and I'm going to show you all the different colors that I did um, when I get done here. I did this in a bunch of different colors. It really inspired me to make a bunch of cards and then I'm actually going to send these to team members um, this week out for last month sales and hellos and happy birthdays and all of that. I like to send out cards and goodies to them. So then what I did is I just cut with the so butter far. with the butterfly I cut the same color cardstock. So then I just want a really small piece of black. I'm cutting it on my trimmer really quick. You can see right here. So we're going to have this and we're going to do some stamping. So right now is a great time to join Stampin' Up. There's no um, risk in joining. You don't, you know, you don't have to do anything specific. You just sign up to become a demonstrator and that means you get a discount on all of your product, which is super fun. I'm going to try to line this up, you guys. And then you do have a quarterly minimum, which I always get asked about, but the deal is if you don't meet the quarterly minimum, I'm going to flip that over and do it again. There's no big deal. Like we don't send the rubber police after you, nothing. You just um, become inactive. So it's just like a Costco membership. You join, if you like it, that's great. And you keep getting discount on your product. And if you drop off, you drop off and you can rejoin at any time. So there's no risk involved. It's not, no reason to be super scared of it. Um, so I would love for you to join my team right now. You spend $99 and you get $125 in product of your own choice. You pick it out. Plus you get two other stamp sets of your choice. So that's fun. And then I send you a little bag of goodies that says, welcome to my team. And it's really fun. So if you're interested in joining, please just contact me if you have any questions. I'll leave a link down below where you can join in the YouTube description, or you can go over to my website. And of course, there's always information over there for you guys. So I'm just adding some dimensionals to this butterfly. We're going to pop it up. This was really a fun card to do, really simple. And I'm going to show you one other variation to the card. So there's that. And then we just add some rhinestones. I think this one takes three. Then, super fun, Wink Estella. Right now I'm giving Wink Estella pens away. Um, when you place an order with me of $50 or more, you get my card kits and then you get a Wink Estella pen. And that's really fun. And this, it's fun to use these Wink Estella pens. 
on just about anything. So I just put it over the butterfly. There's some more glitter that came out. I think I got a little bit on the card, but that's okay. It dripped out a little bit. So then you get nice shimmer on that butterfly. So let's do this yellow one so I can show you this variation. It's one of the other designs. This is Delightful Dijon. I've been using this color quite a bit. Same dimensions for the designer paper and the basic black. This is just a different design. And we'll layer this Originally, together. I had thought I might wanna put a bee on here instead of a butterfly, but I just kept with the butterfly theme. Make sure that's opening the right way. And we layer that and I love this black and yellow together. So now I took my Sunshine Wishes Thinlet and I cut out this Congratulations. And it fits perfectly across the edge like this and then we can put our butterfly down. We can overlap it a little bit. But also with these, you can also turn it a little bit and make it into like curve it, which is fun, right? I'm just gonna take my um, regular glue. This is just mono adhesive. I'm putting a couple dots on here just to hold it down. You don't have to get every spot. I was gonna put it underneath, but I decided not to. We'll just put it right there. We'll do the same thing. And we can even add our Winkastella brush right to the black. Sparkles. You could add the Winkastella to this too. So let me show you some of the other colors I did. I did Mint Macaroon. I did Blackberry Bliss, which is not a color that we have anymore. It's retired, but I have been wanting to use Blackberry Bliss the last couple weeks. I did Bermuda Bay, which you guys know is my favorite. I did Oh Happy Day here. I did on one of these, I did Thank You. Here's another yellow one. Here is a Melon Mambo. Another yellow one. Where's the one that I did Thank You? Oh, right, the uh, this is the Mint Macaroon and I did Thank You, Thank You. So I love the way that these came out, you guys. These were super fun to do, super easy, and I was able to use this paper that I get for free uh, for something that worked for me. I didn't have to color it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I would love to know which color you guys liked best and which did you like the stamped sentiment or the congrats. I just like to know what you guys think of these projects that I'm doing for you. I will be back tomorrow to share with you some fun cards made with Project Life cards by Stampin' Up. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your week and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.